Today, Jeff asked me if there's a way to do a mouse over with a delay. He wanted to mouse over an element and then have a certain delay before the gesture is activated. Now, my initial thought was our mouse over gesture happens immediately and there's no way to set a delay for that. But then I thought you can actually set this up in the behavior designer or potentially even with a transition. So I'm gonna do it in the behavior designer. So I'm creating a behavior around this circle and I'm gonna make a mouse over for this circle that goes to a new state. So I'm gonna set mouse over and I'm gonna keep this state looking exactly the same. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change it just slightly so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna make it just a little bit of a different color, uh, but pretend that this one's the same as the initial state. Okay, from this state, I'm gonna make a timer link and I'll use 800 milliseconds and that'll go to yet another state. And in this one, I'm gonna really change the color. Uh, maybe I'll even make the shape more for something just just so we see that this is like very different in this state now on this state it automatically progresses to the next state after a certain amount of time but what if you mouse out while you're on that state that should actually take you back to the initial state and cancel the whole thing so i'll make a link here that goes back to the initial state and uses a mouse out gesture all right i'm going to test this out in the preview but keep in mind that this new state is supposed to be the same color as the initial state, and I've only made it lighter for testing purposes. All right, so here I go. I'm gonna mouse over the circle. You see how it immediately changes lighter? And if I mouse out of it, it immediately goes back to the initial state. But if I stay on it for 800 milliseconds, now it goes to the final state. And on this state, I don't have any way to get back. So I'm just gonna make it so if you tap on that one, it goes back to the initial state. And we can try it again. Tap back to the initial state. Okay, so now I've got that nice delay and I can change the length of the delay by changing the timeout here. So I can make this you know, up to one second or down a little bit lower. Um, and now let's make this uh, be the exact same color to really sell the effect. I can select the layer in the initial state and do Command Option C, that's copy style, and then select it in the new state and do Command Option V to paste in the style. Now, if I go back to the preview, it should be a seamless effect where I have to hover over this for 800 milliseconds before the transformation happens. And if I mouse out before that amount of time, it doesn't happen. So kind of a cool way to hack the gesture system to sort of create your own type of gesture by creating that second state that has a timer link going to the third state.